Conservatives say this new information highlights the need for an RCMP investigation. For more, I'm joined by outgoing leader of the opposition, Andrew Scheer. Mr. Scheer, appreciate your time today. I have a lot of questions. I'm sure you do too, so let's get to as many of them as possible. Uh, you want the RCMP to investigate the prime minister. Which criminal code does this violate, in your opinion? Well, there, there are sections of the criminal code that talk about when a conflict of interest rise to the level of inferring a benefit on someone, the use of a public office to uh, provide rewards where there is a, a personal connection. Uh, we're, we're, what we're saying is that the police should be looking at several aspects uh, of this case. Uh, there, you said there's a lot of questions, in, and one of the things that we're very concerned about is Justin Trudeau's track record on this. When, the la when he was dealing with the ethics investigation into the SNC-Lavalin affair, he he restricted what witnesses could say to the ethics commissioner. He did not provide full uh, a full waiver of cabinet confidences and privilege. And the ethics commissioner highlighted that as a problem in getting to the bottom of all the details. So we want to see the contract. We want to see the, uh, the, the, you know, the evidence of discussions that were taking place in cabinet. We want to know who was in the room, who wasn't. Uh, there's still a lot more to determine here. Yeah, we know that Bill Morneau was in the room and he signed off on this as well. Uh, what does this say to you about the other cabinet members who were there and either didn't speak up or recognize that there could be a perceived interest of or conflict of interest. Well, it really speaks to the ethical bar for all the liberals right now, actually. You know, uh, Justin Trudeau uh, refused to accept responsibility for the SNC-Lavalin affair. His party won the most seats. So they, they have a right to govern this country in a minority context. But, you know, my challenge to liberal members of parliament here is to really look themselves in the mirror and say, is this the leader that you want to have? This is someone now who continually displays a complete lack of judgment or disregard for these types of uh, ethical guidelines. Should he step aside while the ethics commissioner investigates? Well, as you know, you know, I thought he should have stepped down when uh, he was found to have uh, interfered in the attorney general's uh, decision-making process for a uh, uh, for the SNC Lavalin uh, scandal. Uh, he chose not to. Liberal members decided to keep him on as their leader. The Liberal cabinet continued to work with him as, as their leader, as their prime minister. So, you know, it's really going to be up to them. And between now and the next election, it's going to be up to Liberal members of parliament. Other Liberal cabinet ministers are going to have to decide if they want to be tainted with this type of, uh, this pall over the Liberal government right now. If, if, if I was Christia Freeland or uh, uh, Monsieur Champagne, the two people speculated to be running for the leadership of the Liberal Party next time, I would want to take a barge pole and just push myself far, far away from Justin Trudeau right now. And so even if the ethics commissioner finds fault, as that office has twice before, as you've pointed out, what are the consequences, Mr. Scheer? Uh, doesn't this speak to the need to have more robust measures of accountability in government? Yeah, uh, you, you know, this is a, this is something that I think members of Parliament are, are, are going to want to talk about because we've never had this before. We've never had uh, a prime minister go to such great lengths to to break these types of rules. We've never had a prime minister that uh, can't see the problem with awarding. First of all, designing a program and then giving a sole source uh, contract to a company, uh, an organization that has that many ties with liberals themselves, this very liberal friendly organization. So, uh, you know, wh what do we have? We have a, an ethics regime that, that has a maximum five or fine of a, a few hundred dollars. Uh, this is one of the reasons why we are pushing for uh, the police to, to do a thorough investigation here, uh, because we think at first blush, there's certainly enough of a justification to take a deeper look here. Do you think though, Mr. Shear, this latest scandal resonates with Canadians uh, in terms of, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic still, people are, are losing their jobs. Uh, the government has uh, put forward a lot of uh, stimulus and support. Do you think this particular scandal will resonate with Canadians at this time? Well, it should. Uh, anytime any party is in power, any prime minister is in power, and you know there are multiple breaches. You know, if this were the first offense, we you know we might have a conversation about uh, you know what, what what might happen later. But this is now going to be the third time he's under investigation. And I would put it to the Canadian people this way: Justin Trudeau is using a pandemic to do things that he uh, doesn't want to get caught doing. Remember, the first piece of legislation that this Liberal government brought forward after the pandemic hit was a massive of power grab that the opposition had to work very hard to prevent them from successfully in
in acting. Uh, now he's used this, uh, again, using the pandemic to uh, reward uh, liberal friendly institutions and provide a sole source contract to an organization that had given members of his family not just a platform, but a paycheck. So uh, it, I think Canadians should be outraged that in a time of a pandemic, Justin Trudeau couldn't turn it off for just a few minutes and put the interests of Canadians first, and he had to go and engage in this type of thing. It's ridiculous. One last quick question, Mr. Shearer. I'm out of time practically, but how unusual is it you've been in government a long time to hand out a billion dollar contract without putting it first out to tender? Well, I, I, th I think the, the, the issue here is the, the fact that they specifically designed a program uh, in the midst of a pandemic and then made the case that the only people that could qualify for the system that they designed was uh, an institution that had such close ties. That's, that, that's really the issue here. The fact that he didn't recuse himself, the fact that Bill Morneau didn't recuse himself, we now find out, that's really where this gets into, uh, gets into trouble. Outgoing Conservative Party leader Andrew Scheer, thank you. Thank you very much.